Hey everybody, Ray here. Welcome to It's All About The Cocktail. So I've told you before about Maker's Mark Kentucky Bourbon, and today I want to tell you about another one of their products, the Maker's 46. Now the Maker's 46 is a little bit more refined than the regular Maker's Mark. What they've done is they've taken the regular Maker's Mark, put it into French oak barrels, and then taken staves which they've charred, which they burned, and they measured with a certain amount of time and the certain amount of burn, and they did 46 experience. That's why you get the, on the 46, 46 experience, they said that's the one. So they call Makers 46. That's a little bit more, like I said, a little bit more refined than the regular Makers. It's a little more potent too. It's 94 proof versus your regular Makers Mark is 90 proof. So let's have a little taste. This was released in 2010 by Maker's Mark. And ever since then, people are going crazy about this. This has a very good sipper. I mean, it's something like this. I mean, you really don't want to mix in different drinks, but let's take a little sip of it. See what we think. Got the sediment chiller, so it's nice and cold. Let's give it a swirl there. Not a roll, let's give it a swirl. And then see what we think. Uh, definitely tastes like the wood, the woodiness, but it tastes like caramel, brown sugar. A vanilla taste. But very good. Now, like I say, it is a bit more potent and 94 proof. So I know a lot of people don't like, you know, oh, Ray, but Ray, that's too high proof for me. I don't like that. Well, I'll tell you some things that I can do that I do that make it a little bit better. What I like to do is put like an ice ball in there. But the only thing is this ice ball is too big. So I can let it melt in the sun a little bit here. I gotta let it melt. So like the other Maker's Mark, it's got the traditional red wax on there. That's all hand dipped. I mean, if you see a, a bottle up on the, if you're at a bar and you see a bottle up on the shelf and you see this trademark red wax that's dipped in there, you know that's Maker's Mark, okay? The other ones that can do that. So it goes for like, like 30, 33 bucks a bottle. I mean, it's a little bit more expensive than your Maker's Mark. Your Maker's Mark can get away with maybe like 27 around there. So that's about maybe eight or not eight, nine bucks more. But it's it's kind of worth it. It's, it's more. It's got a, a definite fuller taste to it. Um, it's a bit more higher proof. If you don't mind that. Like I say, 47 percent uh, ABV, which is 94 proof. But uh, let's uh, give ourselves a little pour and see what we, what we think. Hey everybody, Ray here. Welcome back. So I went in the house. I realized I had some Maker's Mark Glencairn glass and my sister-in-law and brother-in-law, Tom and Emily, got me. But the top is, is smaller, man. It's like a small opening, so I still can't get my ice ball in there. So we're gonna have to use the old one, okay? Use the old one, because I don't think I can get the ice ball in there yet. Nope. Take it in. It gets in there now. Okay. So this being 94 proof, a lot of people they're not quite, you know, they don't want that too boozy for them. They don't want that. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you a few things that I found we can do. For one, putting in on ice helps. I mean, ice does help to open up the bourbon too. I mean, I like to put it on our ice. I could have started out with a smaller, or with a, with a different glass, but eh, you get the idea. So let's pour a little bit in there, pour right on top of the ice ball. About halfway. 
Okay, and the reason these were kind of in the picture so is because I'm going to add these. I'm going to add a little bit of orange carousel to it, okay? Like not even one teaspoon is like, you know, a tiny little bit to it, okay? Probably that's too much, probably that's okay. Okay, and then I'm going to add some cherry bitters to it. I'm going to add just a couple, two little, two little drops of cherry bitters. So like I said, it's kind of nice getting outside, being all cooped up, it's kind of getting a lot of people. They're having cabin fever and everybody's protesting. I'm not sure how you feel about that, but you know, I at least want to get outside here and get, out, get in the fresh air and see if I can do something out here in the back. Why not, right? The lighting is better, natural lighting. So something like this, I mean, I'm kind of giving it, I'm letting it swirl so I can stir itself. Something like this kind of makes it a little bit more smoother. So, I hope you would like this video, share this video with people. By all means, watch the whole thing. I mean, if it gets boring, throw it, throw the phone down or throw whatever you're watching. Walk away for a while, come back. Because Google checks a lot of stuff, you know, so let it play out. They definitely count all the people that view it, all the people that subscribe. So if you're not subscribed, please do. And hit the bell also, because then you'll be notified anytime I put out fresh content. And that's a cool thing, right? But I thank you for watching. And let's see what we got here. Oh, wow. That's good, man. So with the orange carousel and a few drops of the cherry bitters, this is quite enjoyable. So I think you should check it out. I mean, if you're a big fan of uh, Makers 46, by all means, let me know. I mean, send me back a comment let me know. If you like the regular Makers Mark but haven't tried 46, well, come on, man. Try some 46. But either way, send me back a comment let me know what you think, okay? Because I really would like to hear from you. And like I see you, how you're doing. Hope you're staying safe. We'll get through this, man. I don't know when, but we'll get through this. Wow, that's... I don't want to swear, but that's really enjoyable. But like I said, friends, keep each other, stay safe, and always remember that at the end of the day, it is... Oh, at the end of the day, it's all about the cocktail. I'll catch you later, my friends. I'll see you.